Hey everyone, I want to give you one good method or one good way that you can actually reach out to the people that you would like to meet and prospectively do business with or network with. So, I've been getting a lot of messages both on Facebook, LinkedIn, and in my email box of people saying they can do all this stuff for me and they'd love to partner with me. The problem is, I have no idea who they are. And some of you are on the other side of the coin. You're looking for people to connect with, people to network with, people to uh, build business opportunities with and from, and you have good motives. But the problem is, is you're setting yourself up to fail. And here's a strategy or tactic that I think that you should consider taking. Number one, instead of just messaging or emailing somebody cold who doesn't know you, who isn't interested in you, and doesn't know the value that you bring to the table, why not go to their blog? Find out if they have a blog. Start leaving some comments that are really meaningful and relevant to that blog without spamming them, without asking them for anything. Just take some time and get to know them. Number two, maybe look at their social media pages, connect with them there, leave the messages there, share their stuff out. But here's the thing, what you're doing is you're building a rapport with them. You're telling them you're a real person who's interested in them and you're interested in their content, you understand their content, and you feel that their audience is relevant to yours and that you're relevant to theirs. And when you do send them that email, asking them to do something, you've actually positioned yourself in a way that they're interested. They know your name, they recognize your name, you have a great subject in the subject field, and when you message them, you're not talking about asking them to do something for you, you're bringing something to the table saying, here's what I can do for you. And you're back to the same premise I talk about all the time. Don't make it about you, make it about them. And then reach out to them and give them an opportunity to do something with that. Now here's the second thing I want to share. Let's say that they're interested and they want to have a conversation with you and you get on the phone with them or you get on a Skype hangout or whatever it is that you do. And this is another interesting thing that I'm finding a lot of. People are asking me, uh, what can they do for me? Well, I'm not really sure. Or they're asking me, who, do, who is my ideal customer or client? Well, I'm really not sure who theirs is. So it's hard to answer that question. And what I would say is instead of jumping in, and asking these types of questions, take the time to develop the relationship and get to know one another. Maybe do a couple of joint ventures together, like, like comment on their, or not just comment on their blog, but talk about how you can reciprocate in terms of writing a blog article for one another. Doing some videos and hangouts together. Take the time to get to know one another. Don't jump into bed with somebody or don't ask them to marry you unless you've had coffee with them and then take them out for coffee and then after you've had coffee with them, take them out for lunch. And after you've had lunch, maybe it's a little more personal, take them out to dinner and hang out with them. Get to know them, maybe use whatever illustration is you wanna use, right? But the point is, take the time and get to know them. Develop a process. Don't just come at them all at once and say, here's who I am and here's what I want from you. That doesn't work so well, folks. Take the time to get to know someone. So what do you think about that? Have you been on the other side of that coin where you're just blasting people and asking them to do something without giving them value? Find out what that is and let me know what you think in the comments. I would love your response. If you're on the other side of that, maybe you're the person that's getting the emails like me or getting the messages on social media. How are you feeling and what are you thinking about when you get those types of messages and how would you like to be communicated with? Drop a note, leave me a a message in the comments if you're on LinkedIn, if you're on uh, Facebook. Let me know what your thoughts are.